So far, so good for Toronto FC. A 3-1 first leg win over Club America in the semifinal of the Scotiabank CONCACAF Champions League. One more match to go, 90 minutes plus to decide whether or not they will be in this year's final. This is a Toronto FC HQ presented by Kia Gareth Wheeler alongside Terry Dunfield. Tuesday night was exhilarating at BMO Field. Two very good teams, top performances across the board, but you know this, having played in the second leg in a semifinal in Mexico before, it's a completely different different experience down there. It is a little bit. I thought it was, as you said, a top performance and a fantastic result. TFC now go down there with a two goal lead. And I think what the, what they need to bring out of that first leg into the second leg is how well they were organized defensively. I, I thought that that shape was their springboard to then go forward. I think it's important too that you find the right balance of when to attack and how much to defend. And there will be opportunities, as we saw in the second leg when TFC were up 2-1, to go and get that third goal. Well, the third goal was so important. Ashton Morgan, the hometown boy, getting it. And really this Toronto FC team, what makes them so dangerous, Terry, is they can attack in waves. The waves, they can beat you even when they're going to go up against pressure, which they will in the second leg with players like Altador and Javinko in the team. They're always going to be a goal-scoring threat so that away goal is a realistic possibility which could really change the shape of the tie. That's one of TFC's definite strengths is how good they are in transition and with Club America pushing so many players forward, especially out wide. There was great 1v1 situations, which TFC were able to expose with Josie Altador and Javinko up top. And it's important in the second leg, too, that the tide doesn't get away from them and they, and they don't sort of get involved in the antics on the pitch, the antics off the pitch. If they are to concede, it's not the end of the world. Break the rhythm of Club America and keep doing what they were so good at in that first leg. When TFC became more compact in the second half, they were in complete control. So all the pressure is going to be on the home side. It won't read well in the press. You can hear it from their head coach, Miguel Herrera. So over this week of preparation in Mexico City, what are Greg Vanny and the team working on? What did we learn from this first leg that they can apply to their preparation? Just trust in your game plan and that game plan is being compact defending deep and then hurting them when the opportunity presents himself picking the the right moments i think the experience of going down to Mexico City for preseason. They're staying exactly where they went before. There's tons of international experience on that TFC team. So that will all bode well for the second leg. And it's quite clear how Club America plays. They love to attack in fours and fives, especially down the wings, which puts the pressure on players like Auro or Ashton Morgan or Justin Morrow comes into the team. Those positions, Terry, defending from wide areas is going to be critical. That's a good point. Club America, especially at home, they make that pitch extremely yes. big. The two wide Wide players play right on the touchline. The attacking two up top, they'll probably go back to 4-4-2, play extremely high. The defenders are deep. So what it does is it creates 1v1s all over that pitch. So winning that duel is important too. Club America plays on Saturday night. TFC is going to be sitting in Mexico City, waiting, watching, preparing. They did it in Monterrey against Tigres with a 2-1 aggregate lead. This time, a 3-1 aggregate lead. They hope puts them in good stead. Ahead of the second Second leg, it all goes down Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. You can watch on TSN, a big week in the Mexican capital.